Hi, I'm Matt Graham, and I'm here to demonstrate one of my favorite hunting tools, the Atlatl. I've been primitive hunting um, with this tool close to 20 years, as well as the bow and arrow and boomerang, but this is my go-to. It's the one I like. I love it for fishing, hunting small game, medium size, and large game. It, it kind of kind of does everything, and you can get away with carrying not very much. You could actually just pack the Atlatl in the backcountry and make the dart on the fly. They're fairly easy to make. Um, this is, uh, these are a couple versions that I prefer. Um, I make them with two finger holes so that they, they lock in there up the second digit, creates a nice secure, I feel like a very accurate throw. Um, some people design them where it's more of a baton grip, where you're, you're holding it more like a club. Um, and, and the nice thing about this style, it, it is very easy to make in the field. So if, if you're making a quickie atlatl, Maybe a grip like this is preferable, but for something a little bit more long-term, put a lot of food on the table, I think this is a really good design. So with the Atlatl, the throw is really important. Um, well, first of all, I'll talk a little bit about the components. So you have weights here, and basically what that does is it counterbalances it. So if your dart has got a, a heavy tip on the end, you're gonna have to have a little bit more weight in order to relax into the throw. The weight's also silenced a little bit, so when it's released, which is basically mid, it releases about when it's mid height, right there. So there's still a lot of movement that's just follow through. And because of that, the weights actually keep it a little bit quieter, just slows it down, gives it a better feel too, so it adds some accuracy. So with the throw, um, the main thing to think about is when you throw, you don't want to have this, this, there's a tendency for beginners to lob it, which is kind of natural. You're, you're making this big arc, but you don't want to do that necessarily, um, especially with a flat spur design like this. If you have a spur that's angled up, you can kind of get away with a bit, bit of a lobby throw. But ideally what you want to do is drop your shoulder into it and think about that spur traveling fairly flat. And when it does that, it's gonna release right there and it's gonna have a nice clean flight. The other thing that, that beginners sometimes do is they'll, they'll take anchor at the target and then thinking they need to wind up like a pitcher or something, kind of angle back. And then that's just excessive movement and you lose a lot of accuracy. So you wanna fix on the target and everything should be forward at that point. So I'll take a couple shots here at this target so you can see what it looks like. So that's, that's kind of the gist of it. I haven't, I haven't actually thrown these darts for a while. One of these darts had a little funky spur on it. But when you learn your darts, it's best if you're learning accuracy, just to throw one dart at a time. Because when you throw that one dart, you know exactly how it flies. And eventually you get really, really dialed into it to the point where you're hitting very small targets, much smaller than this over here. So, so that's, that's the gist of the Atlatl. It's an amazing tool. Uh, I've been really blessed to be able to hunt. <laughs> Sorry, camera woman. <laughs> um, but it is, it's a great tool. Um, and as long as you don't whack your camera person, it's, it's awesome. Um, be safe with it, have fun. And it's a good way to connect with our, our prehistory. So that's the gist for the Atlatl.